Hey guys, it's me, Corgi Corgo, and today I'm playing Cattails again. But this is a new series. It's. I'll tell you all about it after this is done. Let's just watch this. Oh! Hello! The little girl's picking me up. That's me. The one right here. Oh, they're taking me home. I'm so happy. And the mom's just like angry. And she loves me. You see that? That's a heart. That means she loves me. Well, I'm happy she loves me because, I mean, anybody would be happy if, they, if somebody loved them. Eating cat food. I'm playing with her. They're both so happy. Why is the mom angry? And she looks upset. The cat looks sad. Now what is the mom doing? They both look sad. Oh no! Don't leave the kitty on the street. Okay. Well, that was rude. Nobody. That's not a smart idea. Don't do that. N no, that's that's just cruel. Okay. Now we get to play as our little kitty cat. You'll learn their name soon. Hey, what are you doing out here? You don't look like you're from around here. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? You can move your cat with WASD on the keyboard. Try it out and go talk to Coco. Hey, there's me, a bouncing little cat. Let's talk to him. Hmm, you say your name is Hershey? Yes, that's my name. That's a good name for you, if you don't mind me saying. I mean, I wouldn't mind you in complimenting me. You say you were left all by yourself, dropped off on the side of the road? I didn't say anything. How terrible! Well, if that's your story, you've got a lot of learning ahead of you. You'll have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. I can show you how to survive ar around these parts. First things first. You'll need to know how to forage. There should be some golden seal around here. It's a green leafy plant with a bright red berry. We used to patch up wounds. Why don't you go find some golden seal and bring it to me? Shouldn't be so hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help. Go and gather! I've played this game before, so I obviously know it's like right over here. It's me, I'm Hershey. I don't yet have a story planned for Hershey. Well, I do, but I don't know the background story of Hershey. I mean, he's cute, but I don't know his background story. I'm going to plan it in the next episode, probably. So you'll see the whole story then. Looks like you found some golden seal. Why don't you try to g giving it to me? You'll have to dig it up from your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. Open your inventory. Z. Select the golden seal and hold it. Hold. Great work! You'll be forging like a pro soon enough. I already know how to pro how to pro forge, my friend. You go ahead and keep that golden seal by the way. Never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's a lots of plants that go around the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, and marigold. To name a few, they all have their unique uses. So, make sure to gather up some and try them out if you see them. I remember that, Coco. Thank you. Just remember that all plants need time to grow back after they've been harvested. And some plants will only grow in certain seasons. Well, that's, that's interesting. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You'll need to eat regularly to stay alive and healthy. You need some plants like berries and licorice roots, but they won't fill you up very fast. 
You'll mainly want to eat prey that, catch, that you catch with your own four paws. That's the good stuff. Sorry if I stutter. You know me. Just starting this voice business. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I do. I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? They make for tasty snacks. First sneak around so they won't hear you coming. Then find a mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You'll want to get as close as possible without scaring him off. The closer you get, the better chance you have of catching the mouse. Don't worry, mice aren't very good at spotting us cats. So you can get pretty close. Then pounce on the mouse. Once you're focused and ready, if you did it just right, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. Don't worry if you miss on your first few tries. Hunting is tricky, and you won't always catch your prey. Just keep moving and try again. I have to cough. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> you got all that? If you need to hear it again, just talk to me, and I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck and happy hunting. <coughs> you hold shift, and then when you're near a mouse, you pounce. Up close and wait for the focus bowl to fill up. But in pounce of space. Oh no! I didn't get it. Okay. Space. Okay, I have to bring it back to Coco, sadly. Do I have to do this? Because I'll hold it. Nicely done, you're a natural hunter, Hershey. Well, you need a whole more than just one measly mouse to keep yourself well fed and in top shape. Don't let it get to your head. <clears throat> you can find all sorts of prey to hunt through all throughout the wilderness. Most will see you coming from a lot further away from, than a mouse will, so you'll have to stay alert and keep learning. Okay. You can always get better at hunting by spending experience on your passive hunting skill in your skills panel. All this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating that mouse you just caught? No need to eat in order to survive in cattails. You can see how hungry your cat is in the bottom left corner of the screen. If your hunger is reduced to zero, you'll start taking damage from starvation. It looks like you're a little hungry now. Go ahead and eat the mouse. You just caught by opening your inventory, selecting the mouse, and then selecting eat from the list of options. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is very not clear. Z, select the mouse, and eat. I ate it. Make sure you keep an eye on how hungry you are, Hershey. It could be the difference between life and death. Now then, do you have any special skills? Any sort of training? That cuts up your upbringing go through? No, not at all. Well, that's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. You can use Sprint to cover ground quickly, to run away from a fight that's too big for you, or to catch up with prey that's escaping. You've learned the Sprint skill. It has been added to your active skill bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can use it by either clicking the sprint icon in your active bar or by pressing 1 on your on your keyboard. Try it out now. I know how to do this already, like I said. I sprinted. Yes, that's just how it's done. You can use sprint every now and then, but after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds before using it again. Every active skill you learn will work in a similar way. Okay, let's stop for a second here, and I'll tell you, if you want to skip ahead, just do that. All this nonsense, you'll see what what you can do in the game, or something like that, or the controls in the game, so you know what I'm doing, but if you just find this all nonsense, just skip to a part. You know what I mean. You can use sprint every now and then, but after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds before using it again. Every active skill you, earn, you learn will work in a similar way. Normally, you'll have to gain experience to learn new skills, and you can only equip a new skill while inside your den. You'll gain experience by hunting, fighting, foraging, and, e and even by sleeping. <coughs> then why am I not gaining any experience? There's lots of skills available, such as combat skills, travel skills, support skills, and more. 
You can have any four active skills at a time, so you'll want to experiment with different combos to find what works best for you. I already know what works best. You can also use experience to upgrade your passive skills, which are hunting, fighting, foraging, and swimming. Yeah, my favorite skill right now, currently, is fighting, because I love fighting in the game, but it's the opinion that counts. Well, it's not the opinion that counts, it's just that <laughs> you can manage your skills on the skill panel. Remember, passive skills can be upgraded from anywhere at any time, but active skills can only be equipped or unequipped at your den. You all have opinions. If you don't like the... If you don't like the fighting, but if you like something else, then sure, just do that one. I'm not your boss. You can also spend experience to upgrade active skills that you really like. Usually that means they'll become more powerful and you'll be able to use them more frequently. You also should know something else about the wilderness. The cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Any cats found trespassing on another cat's territory can be attacked on sight. It's our way of life. Well, that's a mean way of life. That's why you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operation for protection. Often these colonies clash, borders, skirmishes, or even all-out wars are not uncommon. I need to know what I'm working with here. How about the two of us spar real quick? Fair warning, I won't go easy on, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready to spar with me? Yes, let's spar. Alright, if you put on your before we begin, please know. Cats fight by pulling at each other with their claws. It takes some time to complete an attack. And during that time, you won't be able to react to my attack, so time your attacks just right. You want to m make use of your agility to escape my attacks. Anticipate my swipes and get out of the way before they hit. Remember, I'll be vul vulnerable while attacking. I guess I won't be able to turn around or move. Same goes for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Go attack! Okay, I know how to fight. I just I'm not sure. You put up a good fight, Hershey. You've got a lot to learn, but you're not bad for a beginner. You're not bad either, Coco. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience on your passive fighting skill on your skills panel. You said you won't go easy on me. You you did me, like, not that much health, actually. Planet can be an excellent way to flex your politi poli poli political Political muscle, too. Every day, a, f a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you could help a colony gain influence over an area. Speaking of the colony, you sure you'll really want to join one. It's a great way to get started in the wild. I know all the three major colonies here have a spare den to give to you if you'd like. We're actually not far from the forest colony right now. I can lead you there and help you get settled in. I'm sure their leader mayor won't mind having a, f a new face around town. They're good cats in the forest colony. You'll fit right in. How does that sound? What are my other options? We... I don't have much of the forest colony saved because I'm always like, well, that's too original. You know what? Fine. Great, I'll lead you to the forest colony then. Follow me, Hershey. Here we are. This is your new den, Hershey. You'll want to visit your den often. Here you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use the space to store your items if you'd like. Remember to save your progress frequently as you play by using your bed. It's a good idea to save before sleeping each night. This is where we'll have to part ways, Hershey. I hope you remember your training well. It was good to meet you. you ha you've had a busy day today. Why don't you get some sleep? I will return to check up on you soon. Until then... Well, I can't go out right now, but I know that, so I'll just sleep. 
I'm so cute when I sleep. We'll do some introductions. And then we'll end the video there, because, you know, don't want to get too far into it. Good morning. Morning. I've heard from Coco we'd be seeing a new face today. Hello, Mayor. My name is Mayor. I'm the leader of the Forest Colony. I'm here to give you a warm welcome. I hope you found your den comfortable enough. We were keeping it nice and tidy in case someone like you came along. You'll find that we're a pretty friendly bunch of cats around here. You'll want to go around and introduce yourself to everyone when you get the chance. Make sure you get to know Ember, our shopkeeper. You should also say hello to Doc, our, our healer. I live just behind your den on a little island in the middle of town. Come see me if you get lonely. Oh, we're also preparing for the summer festival. We hope you'll join us for the festivities. Cats of every colony come together to the sacred temple at the end of each season for the festivals. They're usually fun games and prizes you can win. The summer festival takes place on the 10th of summer. And we all be taking off now. Welcome to the forest colony, Hershey. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is very dry, like as dry as a desert. So I might cough every once in a while. Hello there. Huh? Did you need something? I don't think I know you. How's about we change that right now? Name Scout. I work for Mayor. Our little colony relies on my skills to make our borders our safe. Make sure our borders are safe and all. It isn't a glorious job, but hey, someone's got to do it. I like your blue eyes, Scout. They're nice. Hey, Missy. Uh, who are you and what do you want from me? Look, you don't know me and I don't know you, so let's get one thing straight. I'm Missy, and I'm the most important cat in the forest. Got it? No, leave me be. You're wasting my time. I imagine she'd have a snarky voice like that, because she's annoying. She's really annoying in the game. Hey, Sarge. Good, good day to you. Who are you? I don't think I know you. I guard the forest colony, so watch what you're doing, or we'll have a problem. Hey, Sarge. Hey there, how are you doing today? You know, I don't believe we've met before. My name's Doc, and I look after the sick and wounded cats around these parts. I've got herbs, medicines, and remedies just for about every kind of ailment you can think of. If you're ever feeling icky inside or out, just come to me, and I've got whatever you need to get back to tip-top shape. I'll be seeing you around, I'm sure. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Doc. Let's see, who else have we got? Who have I not said hi to? Oh, it's a butterfly! My first everything caught in this game. Well, in the tutorial, I caught a mouse. That's the first thing, but my first thing in the actual game. Oh, hello, Ember. Hi there. Hi there! Have you come to check out my fine wares? How have we met before? Allow me to introduce myself. They call me Ember and I run the store around here. I've got lots and lots of stuff for sale. So stop by if you need anything. Hope to, see you Hope to see you around. I just have to do that voice. I have to give everybody a poor personality or I feel like it's all just bland characters. Okay, have we gotten all of them? come out or cats not people oh hey Laris good day to see you my rose ah like a fresh breeze in the thick of spring so a new face brings life to my soul we have not met before have we my name is Laris I do hope you will stop by again it has been such a pleasure to meet one as exquisite as you sure thanks Laris you're quite exquisite, too. Let's see, is there anybody else I possibly could have missed? There's a den here. Who is this for? Oh, sorry, it's done. The inside is neat, orderly, and simple. Oh, okay, 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 I got it. That's Sarge's den. That means I've met everybody, if I'm correct. 
my den is much more uh, creative than the other guys' dens, because they're all just, the other's dens are just round. Yeah, even the mayor's den is kind of just round. Let's see, why don't we do some hunting before we go, actually? Oh, and I had to tell you what this was. I'm making a series, and it's gonna be called, hold on, what was I gonna call it? It was gonna be called Journey to the Custom Colony. This character is going to get stuff, get the jewels, the gems, whatever they're called. You'll know what the gems are sooner or later in the series. But those things help me, help me on the road to get a, my own custom colony. Now I'll continue the series from there, but I'll make a new series. But like its own series after I do this when I get the custom colony I'm making its own series because it just be weird because I've already did it I've already done it the series will be called C journey to custom colony because I'm journeying to the custom colony and it's gonna take a little while I promise you this is not gonna be a walk in the park it's very difficult there are many things you have to do skills to upgrade, battles to fight, but it's gonna be all worth it once I get that custom colony. I have it in another game, but it's just that it'd just be random and weird, like, it'd be so random to just have that in the middle of, of nowhere, just have that be reported in the middle of nowhere. I mean, mouses are pretty easy, but, oh, I do like to chatter on, sorry. I mean, it helps make it a little more fun, right? Because, okay, I'm gonna get this mouse. Because it's just me playing in a game. I'm very focused when I'm in the game, so talking sometimes distracts me. So sometimes I might stay quiet. Oh, it's Scout, that's so cute. He's, hunt he's going around and hunting. But I'm a male in this game, honestly. I can be whatever I want in this game. In this game, there are no specific genders set for anybody. Right now, right now, Scout could be a girl because Scout is there's. You would never call in the game. You would never say he or she. It's it's just that you can customize the cats as you like. I'm not actually. Oh my God! Is that a cardinal? Why is that there? Oh my God! Did I just get a cardinal? Oh my god! How did I get a cardinal? Oh my gosh! That is actually the best thing. You, you guys, the, a cardinal is so hard to get. Like, I can barely find them even in my good game. And I just happened, happened to stumble upon one right when I was in this, in the newbie game that I am right now. Isn't that cool? Like, a cardinal... I usually buy these for like, this can be used to help me get to the, the colony, so, the custom colony, so I'm not going to sell it. I'm not, that's that's wrong to do. A rare red bird whose beautiful plumage is like, life is life like, even in death. Oh, that's sad. Um, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Cardinal. For a second there, I was just like, I'm not going to get it. Look at me right now. My skill is horrible. Like, if I can't get a squirrel, can I get a cardinal? I was just like doubting it completely and then I caught it. Sorry, I'm like, I'm just really happy right now. When I get a full inventory, I'll stop the thing and end the video. I hope you're not finding this boring, because there's really nothing else to say. So this is going to be a long series. I think you've already heard me say, but if you stay with me here, you'll enjoy it as much as I will enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's such a good game. It's like a game I've played before. I haven't recorded it ever before. But, if I were to show you the game, it'd be a little less dated than, um, Cattails. 
I'm selling everything that I kill, by the way. I might eat a mouse or two, but, you know, I've got to, I've got to sell everything. Okay, I've got 95 hunger. That means I'm good. Okay, we're gonna go up a little bit. Why not fight a fight, too? I mean, I have literally no skill whatsoever. Oh, wait. What do I want? Hunting or fighting? Sorry for the major voice crack there. Actually, I'll do fighting, because fighting is best. I could do anything right now, because my character is in need of anything it can get. But you know, I like fighting in this game. When I can, I'll show you my other save. I mean, it'll be completely out of the random, but I'll show you my other save. If you want me to. Oh, it's a turtle. These are pretty important. Like, they're not bad. There we go. I am so close to getting a full thing. Let's see. Okay. Can I get this right here? Hey, stop. Don't be so mean. Hey, stop. Don't attack my people, man. Okay, I did it. The battle is won. In the game, you have to get so much territory. Like, later on the game, like, you get so much territory. It's not even funny. Please don't scare away the squirrel. Well, I killed it. So, at least he didn't scare away the squirrel. I hope I can get a full inventory. Let's see. I have no inventory expansions. I just have this, so I'll just have to make it count. Okay, so I'm done that. Oh, a red firefly. Oh, those are pretty cool. Eat. Hey, hold on, there's a rabbit. Those are, they're pretty good for amounts of food. Like, they they got a good, they're good, they're good muse, and they're also good amounts of food. If you don't know what muse are, these are, it's the thing with the four right there, that's a muse. I'm gonna eat a mouse. So I can fit this. Wait, no, no, no. So I can fit this in my inventory. They're pretty rare. Like, like out of nowhere, a cardinal. Just a cardinal. Hey there, I'm just chilling out. I'm a cardinal. Like one of the most rarest animals in the game to get. You know what I mean, right? Like, except the catfish and the blue jay. Hey, I'm a cardinal. One of the most rarest things in the game to get. I'll just spawn in your new game. What? Okay. Well, that's great. I'm not disappointed by this. I'm, I'm in fact happy. Like, it's it's. I'm not even joking, man. And I'll eat another mouse so I can fit this field mouse in my inventory. Do I really need this red firefly? No, I don't. I wanted it, but I don't need it. I really don't need it. No! I'll just, I'll just attack you. Or I can get a marigold. I'll kill you, then take the marigold. I'll mark this down. Forest thieves. I'll head back there to take the squirrel. You know what? I don't need to finish that battle. I've done enough already. You probably don't care. And and just like, yeah, end the video. So, I'm gonna reach my den and end the video. Also, I've got new recording software. So, I'm pretty new to my software. So, also, f I'll figure out some other stuff later. But right now, I can't do any cutting. So sorry if it's just extremely boring to see me walking all the way over to my den and not pausing and going back. Because I used to like to do that.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video of me talking, blah blah blah, telling you everything, you know. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was really fun to make. I hope you enjoy it. I already said that like five times. Bye!